All right, so the coefficient of variation, um, this is when you have um, two standard deviations that you want to compare. You want to compare how spread out data is for two different um, units. So when the units are different, we can compare the standard deviation and spread of the data. So an example we give you would be, for instance, maybe a business wants to compare the spread of the data for sales of boats and the commission rate that they're paying their employees. So it'd be tough to it'd be tough to do that on their own merit because they're they're different variables, but uh, with a with this coefficient of variation, which we represent here with a C var, um, it equals your uh, and I have S over X bar for a sample right here because we're dealing with samples. So it's your standard deviation, which is on the top, divided by your mean. Of your sample times 100%. And then the same with population. So population is your standard deviation for population divided by your mean or mu times 100%. So it's not very difficult, but um, it's kind of a very powerful tool. So let's say the mean of a number, mean of the number of sales of cars over a three month period is 87. So we sold 87, we average, we sold 87 cars. And the standard deviation is five. So the mean of the commission is five thousand two hundred and twenty-five bucks, and the standard deviation of that is seven hundred and seventy-three dollars. Compare the variations of the two. So, so let's say we have sales on top and a commission rate on the bottom here, and we'll compare the two. Um, and we'll just we'll just call it commission. Okay. So what will you do for the C var? would be equal to your, for the sales, our standard deviation, or our, yeah, our standard deviation is five, and our mean is 87, and then we take that times 100% to convert it to a percent, and so that would give me, if you multiply that out, that would give you 5.7%. Okay, and for the commission rate, again, C var for commission would equal uh, 773 for your standard deviation over the price of $5,225 or $5,225 times 100% is equal to 14.8%. And so what that tells us is that our commission rate or our commission is the data is more spread out than the sales data. Sales data is pretty, you know, pretty much cl very close, all the data is very close to that 87, whereas our commission rate for selling cars is not very close to $5,225. So maybe that's something you'd, you know, if you're an owner of the business, maybe you need to look at your commission rate and uh, see if it's fair or, or things like that. Or maybe, maybe it means some employees just aren't selling that many cars and you need to look at those employees. Or you got a couple of employees selling a lot of cars. So. However that works, you know, who knows, I don't have the data in front of me, but we know we've got, uh, we can compare them now with that percentage, and we know that commission is, you know, uh, with a 14.8% spread means we got a higher spread than the sales. And so, there you have it, that's it. Uh, we can swing back to it, but that's coefficient of variation. So good luck, hope this helps, and see you next time.